he's a big horse, as you can see. And last year, as a three-year-old, he wasn't racing properly. He wasn't behaving well in his races. He got anxious in the stalls. He was keen. Um, I remember his race at York was so disappointing as a three-year-old. It was just messy. And he, he just sort of, with racing, kind of went the wrong way. But then Tom Markman, you know, did an amazing job at Ascot. Uh, at the end of last year and then at Newmarket at the beginning of this year to kind of re-educate him and a lot of that is down to Tom and, and to Matty riding him every day at home. He's a much more relaxed horse this year and much happier and more comfortable in his own skin and I think as a result he's running to a high level and, and behaving properly in his races and I think that's all part of the picture. The timing of the York race probably would work better but I think I'm keen to go to Newbury and um, I think it's the perfect spot for me. I think you'll see a different horse to, to the one at Goodwood, to be honest with you. I, I, I think the shoe, the track, there are so many factors, I think, that, that contributed to what I, I deemed as, as a below par performance. So I hope you will see his true colours on Saturday. It was a strange race, and we went there sort of confident he'd be very competitive. You know, on reflection, he's beaten by three Group 1 winners, so you can't be too disappointed. But I, I don't think he ran to the level of Ascot or probably even Haydock to that matter. I, I think I think it was a, a, a disappointing run. I think there are reasons for that. Firstly, the, the track, I don't think probably played to his strengths. And secondly, he twisted a shoe when he came in. He, he wasn't lame, but he'd had a shoe ever so slightly shifted, which must have happened on the way to post. Because um, James said he stumbled a few times going down and then didn't feel right in the race, didn't feel right pulling up, coming in. So if he ran with the shoe like that, which we never actually will know, then, then he was a remarkably brave horse and it was actually a seriously impressive performance considering that. Uh, not had to do a huge amount and um, just freshened him up and he seems fresh and well. Matty's been very happy with him. Um, yeah, he looks great, moving well. My dream for him would be to, to win on Saturday, go to the foray and then the Breeders' Cup mile. That would be the, the dream scenario. He's in a difficult spot, Potmaster. He's highly rated. I mean, he hasn't run since Newcastle at the end of June, where he was disappointing in the chip chase. He obviously won uh, at listed level at Newbury last year. Soft ground. We've been trying to hold off a soft ground, but slightly running out of patience. Um, it won't be soft on Saturday. He, he goes on fast ground, but I think to be at his best, he needs cutting the ground. So he might be up against it on Saturday, but he needs to run. He, and there's nothing really until the park stakes Donkster. So um, we'll see how we get on. Tom Master's very talented. He's a little bit quirky. You wouldn't know what he's going to do or, or what performance he's going to throw in. Um, so he's probably going to be outside of the field, but I wouldn't put anyone off having a couple of Quidditch way on him.